How's it going everybody? You got Bison here back with another FIFA 14 review. This time it is of the new inform, inform Kaka, who rightfully so deserved this inform after scoring his 100th goal for AC Milan. So congrats to him for that. I made this video as quickly as possible to get this video out to you guys. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check out my other videos if you haven't already. And thank you so much for watching. You guys came here for one reason. It is for this inform Kaka review. So let's get straight into this review. This guy goes for about 200k right now on the Xbox for one reason. His Look at this goal that he scores on one of the first shots I take with him. A long shot from that far away. Simply put, guys, this guy has an incredible shot. He can curve it very well. He has great shot power. His shot is the best part about this card, no doubt. It's an upgrade over the original card, and it's so nasty. This guy was so fun to take long shots with. He was so accurate with them, and he was very good from inside the box and outside the box as well. He's a guy that you can shoot from all over the field with and score a lot. He's very accurate in doing so, and he's reliable. He's got a reliable finesse shot, which is very nice to have with him, in his right foot and also in his left foot. He has a pretty good weak foot for a guy like him, which I was very impressed by. Um, for, by Inform Kaka. I love this shot. His shot is a great part about this card. No doubt about it. So remember, you're going to get a great shot if you get Inform Kaka. But there are some negatives with this guy. This guy is only 72 pace. I'm not going to lie to you guys. This guy had poor acceleration. He had poor pace. He had trouble beating people off the ball and really couldn't accelerate. And that was a negative for me. And at center attacking mid, he's more of a guy you're going to want to distribute the ball to. Another thing you might want to take into consideration with Inform Kaka is that he is extraordinarily weak like very weak this guy will get pushed off the ball very easily he would not be able to beat defenders because he would get muscled off very easily and he would flop a lot he's not a guy you can give the ball to all the time um, on runs because he would get pushed off very easily and i think that's a clear point with inform kaka and a clear negative this guy is good dribbling but his lack of pace and strength can really ruin the card sometimes and really make a dent on his great shooting this guy had good pace or at least okay pacing in um, good strength, this guy would be a much better card, no doubt about it, and would go for even more coins than he's going for right now. But he isn't, and guys like Aachen Femua and Heskey, even though they are extraordinarily slow, they have good strength so they can uh, hold off defenders, and they're good guys to dribble the ball to. Yet, even though Kaka is good dribbling, he can't really do that. I think that's a good point with him. Also with Kaka, even though he has good dribbling, he had trouble setting the ball on those through balls, which made an even bigger negative. So that's why you want to keep this guy at center attack. I mean, I heard some people saying, maybe you should play Kaka at striker because he has a great shot. And kind of like Rooney, he'll do a good job. But the problem is, he's so slow, so weak, and he can't really uh, receive those through balls. And even when he does receive the through balls and finally settles it, the defenders are already catched up. And he can't even break away from them because his pace is so slow. And I haven't talked about his passing too. At center attack, this guy can distribute the ball very well. And he can also shoot it very well. I think he's best put at this position. At this point in time, he's going for about 200k, which I think is severely overpriced um, for Inform Kaka. In general, those uh, negatives don't like destroy the card completely because he does have those huge positives. But for that much money, I, don't, I think you're better off getting someone else. I feel like he's going to drop though. In the next two weeks, by the time that some people see this review, he might already be about 70, 80, maybe 100k. I think if he goes to about that price, I think he could be worth getting because he had those positives. And he kind of reminds me of a Ozil with a better shot. A much better shot as the shot was the best part about this card. And Ozil is a pretty solid center attacking mid, but I just wait I just would wait till the price goes down a little bit. You can see in the recap here, if you miss anything about Inform Kaka, like I said, from his regular card, this is an upgrade in some parts, but obviously he still has those some negatives. Even with the upgraded pace, he still seems kind of slow, even though it's a little bit better than his regular card, but not a huge difference. Anyways, you can see the rating on this card is in 8.3 out of 10, he does have those negatives, but you have to take price in consideration while getting anyone of this size. But when he goes down, I would up this rating a little bit. So thank you guys so much for watching this review. If you're new to my channel, make sure to check out my other videos. And thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.